In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the Boolean operation, and we're going to be using ruled surface also. And a lot of newbies they like to use the Boolean operation because it's a easy way to cut an object to a hole or have a a bevel into it. But the problem with that, it produces bad geometry. Or if you try importing your uh, object into another application that has bool into it, uh, it might not render right and it actually might not even look right or look correct. It's because a lot of applications don't accept boolean operations and uh, things will look a little messed up. So I'm going to show you how to get uh, the best of this and maybe show you a little tips and tricks but anyway let me get started I have got the plane here now that note this plane ha this plane has four points to it and I got my curve here with the plane selected I'm gonna select the boolean operation then I'm gonna select the curve here and we'll select over here alright now this does look good here but actually this does have some bad geometry to it and that usually happens if you subdivide it that you will be able to see it and I'll collapse here as you can see I got bad geometry now yours might not look this bad on some of the stuff that you do but uh, in this instance it does look pretty bad and uh, I'll go ahead and undo that and I'm going to use my hotkeys. I'm going to go into front view mode here. I'm going to select the select edge mode. I'm going to right click and drag. Now what this did was select all the edges. And actually it's one continuous loop around here. And the ruled surface does not work with one continuous loop or one curve. So I need to split this up. I'm going to shift click down here, shift click this one here. Now I got two separate lines, the one for the arch and one for this uh, outer frame for the arch. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want you to keep an eye on the scene tree. When I copy and paste you'll see now I'll have two curves in here. Edit, copy, edit, paste. and there's our two curves. We'll just hide this one here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the ruled surface. Go to the front view mode. Now I want you to notice the curve now uh, the points it has compared to this uh, outer frame and uh, I want to compare that to uh, let's say this one here which one was the one that was messed up and the reason why it got messed up is because the outer frame did not have equal amount of points as the arch did it really needs something to connect to it needs to uh, each point needs to connect to the outer point this will help keeps the mesh uh, together let's we'll hide that back here and of course we still don't have equal amount of points but we can use the ruled surface so I'll select the ruled surface and I'll select here and here and validate it now you can see that uh, they all match across I got uh, some points on the left here in the arch they matched the ones over here in the outer frame this is what's good geometry if I divide it it's still gonna hold its shape unlike boolean okay I can go ahead and uh, the collapse is here now I can straighten this up a little bit it don't need a lot of help I'll just select this point here shift click here Let's just bring this down just a little bit. 
and you can see I always look to my edges above here and you can see it's kind of jagged that means that it's not straight I'm in front view mode so let me just scale that to it that jagged goes away as you can see now the jagged went away there but I got one down here in the bottom so I'll fix this real quick or try to that's close enough anyway I'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back in the select object mode and I want to kind of keep this uh, mesh together when it's subdivided it, it needs some more polygons to it there's other ways that you can do this but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the uh, free tessellate and I'm gonna use the, uh, the slice here I'm just gonna hold the shift key down this is the halfway mark between the two points click one here and do one here and validate it but now I need what I could have did is I need to put some around the uh, outer uh, arch here so I'll just turn this back on here I'm going to hold the shift key so I can get the center then I'm gonna move to the left hold the shift key move to the right hold the shift key and what happens is when I start in the center then move my way out it makes all the faces at equal distance and that'll produce good geometry alright I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and add a little uh, thickness to this and I'm going to validate it now when I subdivide this here it's probably going to get a little round so let's take a look at it it's not what I'm looking for the outer edge of the frame and the arch it's got too much of a bevel and I want to fix that so what I'll do is I'll go back to edge mode I'll select the front side of the uh, here, then I'll select the back side and I'll loop it and it also needs one for the bottom the front side and the back side here it don't matter where you select as long as it's on the bottom of the looped edge here so I'll loop it and I will need to finish it off with one here and one here then I use the chamfer and uh, let me scoot this over just a little bit so you can see and when I move the slider is pretty much what you see is what you get that's got too much of a bevel there I want just a little bit so I'll tone it to about right there and validate it Let's subdivide it and take a look. It looks good. I got the uh, nice round bevel edges, but my frame of the arch needs to be a little bit harder. So let's fix that. So I'll click here in the front. Just shift click in the back. We'll loop it. Use the chamfer. And as I say, if I move it up, that's going to give it too much bevel. So let's tone this down much as possible. Add a little bit more range to it. Not a whole lot. Validate it. And let's subdivide it. Now that you can see that I got a nice beveled edge for the outer frame. And the arch kept its shape with no bevel. let's recap that real quick one more time so make sure that you understand this but I'll use something different here we'll go into front view mode I'm gonna press the hotkey I'll select a grid here 
and I'll put it about right here and I'm gonna select the I'll select a circle here and I'll drag out about right here send that up a little bit We'll select the plane here first. Surface modeling, Boolean operation, select the circle. Validate it. And this is the one with the bad geometry, as I will subdivide it to show you. That's real bad geometry. Uh, Let's subdivide it one time, take a look. And control Z that. Back in the front view, select face mode, right click and drag. As you can see, I got an outer edge and the inner circle. This is, they're both continuous, but I do have two separate lines or two separate curves. So all I need to do is edit, copy edit paste we'll use the ruled surface validate it go to front view mode needs a little straightening up not a big problem select the edge loop it and we'll just turn it just a little bit, straighten it up. And we're going to add some uh, thickness to it. Validate it. Select the edge mode. Click the front side. Click somewhere on the back side. Loop it. Chamfer. We want just a little bit of bevel on here. Validate it. And we want the inner circle with a hard edge. So I'll select the front edge, the back edge. As you can see, I did over here. We'll loop it. Chain for it again. We'll set this way down. Add some more range to it. Validate it. And let's subdivide it. Let's take a look. As you can see there, that the circle held its shape and the uh, outer edge had some bevel to it. Let me control Z this a couple times. And like I said, if you wanted the mesh to stick together, together a little bit better, we'll just go over and uh, put some slice to this here. I'm going to hold the shift key so I can get the halfway mark. Click here, shift click here, and down here. And we'll validate it. And that looks pretty good. This is an alternative way for Boolean operations. And it produces good geometry. And when you do import this into another application, it'll look right and render right. All right, with the uh, Boolean operation, you can cut a hole, and you can also do a, like an indentation, as this icon resembles here. It kind of gives it a little insert. And let's say I didn't want it to, uh, I want to make this uh, the uh, circle shape more of an insert. So I'm going to try selecting the edge here. Now, it may appear there's one edge, 
but you got to remember I did the chamfer on there and what happened is there is actually probably five different uh, edges into one it might appear so I'm going to just select one and hope I just select just one then I'm going to go ahead and uh, loop that I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm going to extrude it out now you notice it got a little discolored let's go to face mode up here it's a little discolored uh, I think I selected more than one edge and that which this uh, discoloration is giving indicate me that I did so I'm going to select the face and loop it loop it again and hit the delete key now when I hoover over it you can see I'm getting the light blue color and it's not discolored Sometimes you'll get two different, you'll still be blue, but it'll look kind of funny, so that'll indicate that uh, you had grabbed more than uh, one edge. So then I'll just go ahead back into vertex modeling and close the hole here. And I'll select the uh, back side of this white ring, close it. And that way I can to that way I can adjust how much insert or bevel I want. Anyway, thank you very much.